on our way to get Dutch's a progesterone test. And I just want to share this New York City skyline. Wow. It's so clear today. We're in Jersey, but that's the view. Hi everybody, Ricky here from Burford Great Danes, a faith-based Great Dane breeder. We have Dutchy here. Dutchy, come here Dutchy. Dutchy looking out the window. Hey pretty. My son Ricky. So, we are here to get a progesterone test, my first ever. Um, I was talking to a breeder of German Shepherds and he recommended this place. We're in Newark, New Jersey. So, about 20 minutes from my house. I could have did my regular vet, but the thing is like they have to send it out. So it takes like a day or so. Um, I just want to get the results right away. Just kind of get a baseline. I think we're pretty early, but I just want to, you know, it's my first time. I don't want to, you never know. You never know with the dog. They could go a little bit earlier, a little bit later, uh, meaning ready to breed. So you never know. I mean, the rule is I think seven days roughly to, you know, start progesterone testing. But today is day five. I think I seen blood I seen blood about five days ago my wife says she may have seen some spots on her bedding so you know again just to be I'd rather be safe than sorry it's a very fair price you get the results right away and uh and we'll let you know we'll let you know how it goes that she's got her diaper on and we got another diaper baby <laughs> okay so we're just leaving the place really nice people super helpful um quick honestly it's very fair 80 bucks and quick now again i've never gotten a progesterone test obviously i'm a little excited you know like you know she came into heat even a little bit earlier so like i just want to make sure because we're traveling to breeder and traveling a long ways roughly 10 hours um, I'm taking the family. We're going to be staying there. So there's a lot involved. There's a lot of moving parts. So I, I just want to make sure I'm timing everything correctly. So she came back a 0 0.8. Let me show you. It's, uh, 0 0.8. So their recommendation was to come back in four to five days. So you never know. Some dogs, again, they go early, they go later. At least now I have a baseline. I'm comfortable. I could kind of... By going by this, I could kind of maybe book something. I haven't booked a hotel where we're staying yet or the Airbnb. So at least this gave me a baseline to go on and um, and I'll be back here. It says four to five, like, you know, four days for sure. Maybe three, we'll see. So I'll check back. Thanks for watching and let's continue this journey. Yes, baby? <laughs> Ricky's been very helpful. Thanks for coming with me, buddy. Right. Um, when when that other girl Great Dane came. Oh yeah. Was it because they were finding a star that they chose? Bird? Right. Oh. All right. So that's an interesting story. So Brifford, the original, where are we at? Brifford Great Danes, her brother, where it all started. My first Great Dane ever. Um, Yay. that changed a lot for me. If you watch my videos, you'll understand. Um, and, I'm, and again, one day I'm going to do like a really, really good long video about Burford explaining the whole, the whole thing, right? Wait, but he passed wait. young. But Rick, let me just tell them what you were talking about. So he remembers somebody wanted to breed with Burford. Um, he was such a unbelievable dog, 170 plus pounds. He had, he really took on, like she has a, her half line is European. He really took on the European line, beautiful male stud. Um, and somebody wanted to breed with him. They actually brought the female over um, beforehand just for them to meet each other and sniff each other and kind of hang out. And I also have videos and pictures of that that I could post. But um, they got along well. And just for some reason, I didn't want to do it. I don't know. I didn't. I wasn't in love with the female. She, she was okay. I don't know. Just for whatever reason, he was so young. I'm like, oh, I got plenty of time. This is, you know what? What a great moment for me to share you always think there's like so much time, right? Like he was only a year or something. He passed at 18 months and I'm like, oh, I have time. We'll, we'll stud him out. We'll, I'll get a female. Like I had this kind of plan that I, I may breed him. Um, 
but you know god's will is god's will and and he passed at a young age and you know of course i wish i would have bred him because if i did breed him at that moment i would have had basically because the deal deal was i would get pick of the litter i would have had a pick of the litter right around the time he passed because i did see that the lady did go ahead and find another stud and had puppies so so you know we make decisions in life you know we think we're making decisions but so why did they come? god's in charge and he's making so for whatever reason i didn't breed them the didn't like him. No, no. Well, they came to kind of hang out with each other and stuff, but so Daddy just decided that that she wasn't right for him for whatever reason. But you know what? It's funny how things work. Cause if I would have bred him, I would have kept. He would have passed. He passed. I, I would have kept one of his puppies, and I would have never got Dutchie. By the grace of God, I was able to get his sister at a little bit of a older age. You know, she's now three, but um, she's healthy. She's doing great, you can see and, that and we're gonna. Turning three with us. Oh yeah, there's a video. 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 Yeah, we have a birthday video that we sh that we um uploaded. Yeah, oh, yeah, sure, right? Yeah. So it's a beautiful journey, and this is just another step, and we are on our way. So God bless. Tune in. We'll be doing another test shortly.